In this video tutorial, I want to show you how you can extract text from cells using Excel. So let's say if you have a long text string and you wish to break it into multiple parts, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now before we go into it, I want to discuss six functions that is useful to know in Excel. So let's say if we have, let's extend the width of this column, let's say if we have a long word like intersection. It's not too long, but it'll do. Now let's start with the left function. What do you think the left function allows us to do? If you read what is on the board, it says it returns the specified number of characters from the start of a text string. So if you type in parentheses, first you need to select the text. And the text that we're looking at is intersection which is located in cell B4. And then you want to select the number of characters. So what this function is going to do is that it's going to extract data from that text, starting from the left, based on the number of characters that you specify. So if we want to extract the first five letters, use the left function B4, comma, 5. And you can see that we get the word enter. And so we get the first five letters in that section. Now, so that's the left function. That's how you can use it. So you can extract data from a text starting from the left. The mid function allows us to extract data from the middle. So if I type in equal and then mid, as you can see, it returns the characters from the middle of a text string given a starting position and length. For the left function, we only have the length. We really didn't have a starting position because we're starting from the left. In the middle, you need to specify where you're starting from. So the text will be intersection in cell B4. The starting number, let's start from the fifth character or the fifth position. So the fifth position will be R. I is 1 and it's 2, T is 3, E is 4, R is 5. And starting from the fifth position, we want to extract only four characters from that word. And so as you can see, we're extracting the first letter R, that's the fifth position, and then only four characters, so R, S, E, C. And so the middle function, or the mid function, allows you to extract the middle portion of a text string. Now, what do you think about the right function? What can we do with that? Well, the right function is similar to the left function, but you're starting from the right, and you're going to extract data starting from the right. So if we type in equal, right, and then the same text, B4, this time, let's choose six characters. So starting from the right, we get the word E-C-T-I-O-N. So it's the last six characters in this word. So that's how you can take a word and break it into multiple parts using the left function, the mid function, and the right function. Now, there are some other functions that I do want to go over. The next one is the len function. If you type in equal, well, first let me write len. If you type in equal len, this returns the number of characters in the text string. So it's going to tell us how many characters are in this word intersection. So if we highlight cell B4, we could see that there's 12 characters. Enter has five letters, section has seven, five plus seven is 12. And so that is the len function. It tells us the length of a word or the length of a text string. Now, the next one we're going to talk about is the find function. So if you type in equal find, this function returns the starting position of one text string within another text string. And the find function is case sensitive. So let's keep that in mind. Now, let's say if we want to find the letter S in intersection, we want to find the position of that letter. So let's highlight B4. And then it's, well, first, actually, no, let me do that. 
let me uh, restart this again. So to find text, we need to find what we're looking for in that word. So let's find the letter S. And then within that text, we're going to select cell B4. So that's the cell we're looking at. And we're going to start with position 1. And it gives me this error. So what happened? Where did I go wrong? What you need to do is, under the Find Text section, we need to put this in quotation. And then it's going to work. So notice that it tells us the position of the letter S in the word intersection. And starting from the left, it's in the fifth, I mean the sixth position. Now, what about letters that are listed multiple times? For example, T and E. So let's focus on the letter T. If we start with position one, it's going to give us the first position as soon as it encounters the letter T. So the first letter T in this word, or the first T letter, is in, it's found in position three, I-N-T. Now the second one is going to be, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The second T letter is found in the ninth position. So if you want to get the second one, you need to start after position three. So let's say if we start with position four, then it will tell us the position of the second letter T, which is nine. And so that's how you could use the find function. So let's say if we want to find the letter E. So equal find, and then we're going to put E in quotation within text. So that's going to be B4. And let's start with position 1. So E is in the fourth position. And now let's start after position 4. Let's say position 5. The second letter E is found in position 7. And so that's one way in which you could use the find function. Now let's talk about how we could use the search function, which is very similar to the find function. So notice that the search function returns the number of the character at which a specific character or text string is first found, reading left to right. However, it's not case sensitive as the find function is case sensitive. So let's choose, well first let's search for the letter, let's say C in the word intersection, so within text intersection which is found in B4. And let's start from position one. So the letter C is found in position eight. So the search function and the find function are very similar. Now, let's say if we have a list of names in this individual cell. Instead of finding a letter, we want to find a word or a name. So let's say we want to look for Mary. So let's find Mary in this text string. And so this is located in cell B10. And let's start from position 1. So Mary is located in position 6. The first letter of the word Mary is found in position 6. And notice that there's two Marys. We have capital Mary and over here lowercase Mary. So remember, the find function is case sensitive. So if we use lowercase Mary, she's found in position 23, starting from position 23. Now, I want to go back and give you a practical example of how you could use the left, the mid, and the right function to break down a text string into different parts. So let's say if you have an item number or part number, and you have a text string that looks like this. Let's say the first three numbers tells you the location of that item number, let's say in a warehouse. And the next four letters is basically an abbreviation for the name of the company or the manufacturer of that item. And the last two numbers tells you the size. So once we split it into three parts, we don't need the hyphen in between. 
So let's use the left, the mid, and the right function to break the item number into those three parts. So let's start with the left function. We only want the first three characters. So first we need to highlight the text found in B3. And then we're going to select three because we want the first three characters starting from the left. And so it gives us 5A3. And then we can extend this. And as you can see, we get the, the rest of the item numbers, the first three uh, characters in those item numbers. Now, next we have the manufacturer. So it's in the middle of the text string. Let's use the mid function. And let's choose the text found in B3. And we're going to start from position 5 because that's where X is located. And the number of characters that we're going to select is 4. And so we get X RAS and then extend it. The last one is the size, which only requires two characters starting from the right. So let's use the right function and let's select cell B3 again. And the number of characters we need is two. So we get the size, which is 12 and then extend it. And so that's how you could use the left, the mid and the right function under a practical uh, situation such as this one. So I'm going to conclude here. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.